Surging Sparks is officially sold out on the Pokemon Center. I'm talking PC ETBs, booster boxes, bundles, three pack blisters. The only thing that's still in stock is the single sleeved blisters. Now, we're gonna click on this just to make sure you click on it, it's out of stock, okay? So what does this mean? And everything, we're gonna talk about that moving forward. So usually what happens when a box sells out on the Pokemon Center, first off, usually it takes a while because it is at MSRP, which is 161. Boxes have way surpassed that. So it's not really a surprise, but it just how fast it's happened has been really wild. Now, usually after boxes sell out on Pokemon Center in the past, we've seen them run to the 180s. Surging's already there. So I feel like this, it, it, we're gonna hit 200, 200 plus sooner than we would like. Now, usually, if you guys missed out on these booster boxes, do not fret. Not always, but usually the Pokemon Center will restock these at least once, if not twice, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is just keep an ear out, join, join some discords or something because these most likely will be restocked, okay? Next up. This is the booster box on TCG player. Now, you can see the most recent sale. We kind of just talked about this. 199.93, we got a 188, but then a 199.44. So we are cents, a few cents away from a $200 booster box. I mean, obviously if you're talking tax and everything, then you're already there, okay? So Surging Sparks, what we're gonna say is about a $200 box already. The Pokemon Center, if it restocks, is a deal, right? At 161 is a steal of a deal. This set is going crazy. We're gonna take a look at, these are the booster box cases, right? 48% up in the past month alone, they are over $1,000 for a sealed case. Last sold pretty much 1,100, 1,099, 1,098, 1,098, right? Pretty consistently, $1,000 case. Okay, but, well, I, I got mine on eBay and they're a better deal. Well, let's look at eBay. And you guys are right. Currently, last sold on eBay. This was a damaged one, slight damage, 187. Then we got 175, 175, 170, 175. So, we're seeing eBay slightly under TCG. How long that will last? I don't know, because what you guys have to think about, people are gonna gravitate towards the lowest prices. Okay, these, these booster boxes, we're gonna come out, I'll uncheck sold listings here. So currently, lowest on eBay, there is a 175 plus five shipping, so 180. Everything else is higher than that, 185, okay? Oh, there's a 172 here. So once these get eaten up, and you can see a lot are around current market price, we got 195, there's 200 here, so this is, this is going to, be a $200 box everywhere. It's just a matter of time. Then there's the Pikachu. We talked about the Pikachu a little bit. 68% growth over pre-release prices. Pre-release prices were 300. People thought that was high. It's, it still could be, remain to be seen. There is, you know, this set could crash. If it does, uh, I don't see it happening in the near future, right? But this card went from $300 all the way up to about 600. And now it's cooled off around 500. So this is kind of what we saw with the Greninja. This is why I used the comparison. Greninja went up in pre-release, it cooled off for a bit, and then it took off again. I don't, we don't know if we're gonna see that. I'm just saying that that is a recent example, right? We don't know, nobody can know. The market is too crazy and volatile for anybody to know. I'm just saying that it's a possibility. It could come down to 300, it could go up to 800, I don't know. All I know is that I will continue to update you guys on what's happening. So last solds, 496, 495, 494, 4700 for the Pikachu. We'll see where it ends up. Uh, some people have been calling this the butthole Pikachu. I don't, you can't really see his butthole, but I can get why they would call it that. Anyways, side note. Uh, next up, we are, you know, we're a little ways away from 10K. We're at 7.87K on the channel, but we are going to do a giveaway on the channel at 10K, and it's, I'm gonna do it big. I'm gonna do bigger than, bigger than we did in the past giveaway, so. If you guys want to enter the giveaway, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, and I will post a, a video about that pretty soon, okay? So, but make sure you're subscribed. That is gonna be one of the requirements. I am thinking about giving away, we're gonna do like three things like last time, so there's three winners. I'm thinking about doing a Surging, Surging Sparks booster box, maybe a Japanese 151 box, 
And I don't know, I'm looking around with what I got. Uh, we'll do a PSA 10 of some sort. I'll try and keep it around at least $100 value. Some, somewhere in there. So that's what you're looking at. Uh, we'll announce that and how to officially enter, but you have to be subscribed regardless. So that is one of the requirements. So please do that if you guys are interested. Next up, okay, but what about, same thing, we'll go back to eBay. What is, what is Pikachu doing on eBay? Well, I'm gonna say that this is kind of an anomaly. This really seems like an anomaly. Let me know what you guys think. But there's a 370 here, but 500, 580, 510, 530, almost 500, 500, 560, 500. So about uh, TCG and eBay are about consistent, right? They're about the same price. So that's kind of nice to see. We don't always see that, but uh, Butthole Pikachu is doing 500. Uh, sorry. Next up, what, what's it doing in PSA 10? We saw those some of those crazy bids. PSA 10 numbers are still doing really well, considering if it's a $500 card. Last sold, this is cross out. We don't know the actual price. This one got one bid, 2,400. This is a raw sale. I don't know why this was included. 2,300, 2,400. So, and before that, 3,400. So we're gonna call it between like 23 to 2,500-ish is kind of what it's going for, which is wild. Uh, th that's an insane markup. Just if, if you gotta have, get a PSA 10 copy, I would wait. Even if the card stays at $500. Uh, look at like the Moonbrion, for example. There's a, you know, it's not five times the price for a PSA 10, so. Uh, but quality control can take a factor. Like I, in my car, in my boxes that I opened, the quality control seemed good. I've heard it both ways. I've seen people say quality control was really good and I've heard quality control was god awful. So that will play a factor, we'll see. Uh, if there's not a lot of gradable copies that can affect it. Next up, we're gonna take a look at some singles, some more stuff, the Latias. Uh, also, I do wanna just address this real quick because I'm going, what about TCG, check eBay. The reason we're using TCG, I would probably use eBay more, but this is just, it has a really nice graph, right? And they are usually comparable. So it just makes it in a more digestible form. Uh, but the Latias, this is hovering under, just under $200. Came out pre-release 220, went down to 180, went back up to 200, and now it's just a little under 200. There's 32 copies on TCG Player. Last sold 182, 180, 182, 195 for the Latias. This is a connected art card with the Latios, which, we, I don't think I have that one pulled up right now. Uh, I pulled that, the Latios, uh, out of my booster box recently. I do like the connected art cards. I do think that they're fun. So we'll see where this 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 chart, the the down, then up, then down. We'll see, we'll compare a few. Obviously it's way different than the Pikachu. Uh, oh, Pokemon Center ETBs. This is something I wanted to touch on because uh, when it comes to my investing strategy, I said I've focused a lot more on Pokemon Center ETBs Obviously for specialty sets, like for Prismatic, the ones that don't have booster boxes, PC ETBs are usually king. Look at 151, for example. But uh, even for mainline sets, especially if the promo is good, I'm incorporating that more. And what we're seeing is pre-release prices were high, like 150, 160. Upon release, it went down to 100. It's pretty much around that. It hasn't grown too much. 108, 108, 110. Now the Magneton, the PC ETB stamped promo, uh, I think has been selling in a PSA 10 for uh, a few hundred bucks. So that's like another play. People have been opening these, grading the stamped promos. I've also seen people getting multiple stamped promos because you're supposed to get one stamped, one non. I've seen people get two stamped. I don't know how common that is. It's been making me want to open mine, but so far I've had the strength to keep them sealed, but that is a play that can happen. I think you can make money, especially if you open like a case for ETBs. And even if you only have one gradable of the Magneton, that pays for everything. So that, that that's a play that people are doing currently. Then we have the gold Pikachu, which in past sets, so this rarity right here, uh, this actually is harder to pull than the SIR Pikachu. It's over a thousand packs to actually pull this card. And in Scarlet Violet era in the past, these gold cards have not done as well. They've been really cheap. And when, which is fine, but they were like dirt cheap it's nice to see them actually getting, you know, it's not, it's a hundred dollars, right? It's not this special illustration rare Pikachu by any means, but look at the chart. It only went up. It went from 40 bucks up to 127 and now it's, you know, just over a hundred. Last sold's 110, 114, 110. So it's nice to see the golds. They're, they're supposed to be rare, right? It's nice to see them, uh, this specific one at least, getting some, uh, some limelight time, right? 
this is, uh, I've used this analogy before. I'll do it quickly here. It's kind of like, you know, this peak, the other Pikachu's 500, this one's 100, and you go to the next cheapest one, right? Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It prices people out. I've used the analogy of sports cards. You know, you want a LeBron James rookie card. That's really expensive. You go to a second year card. It's a lot cheaper. Third year card, right? You do whatever's in your budget. You'll settle for the next best thing. A lot of collectors will do that. So that doesn't really surprise me, but it's just nice to see. Then we have the Milotic. Now this card, it's unfortunate that this card has come down off of this price. I do like this card a lot. This is way more stunning in person. This picture does it no justice. It's a connected art card, again with the Phoebus. The Phoebus goes down here underneath the Milotic, but pre-release was $100 and it's just climbed to 80. looks like it bounced off 80 and came up just a little. Only 26 of this card currently listed. This is just as hard as the Pikachu to pull. One out of 960 packs is the average to pull a specific special illustration rare. So, I mean, you know, it makes sense. It's not the most popular Pokemon, but artwork wise, I do think that it's stunning. Last sold 82, 82. There's some in the seventies. So it's about an $80 card ish plus or minus. Then we have the Hydreigon. Uh, this is similar, same special illustration rare, just as hard to pull. This charts a little more down, right? It came out at 120 all the way down to the 70s. I know this is good for a lot of collectors, probably for the players uh, playing if they wanted to use. I don't know how viable this is in the TCG, let me know. I've I've been dabbling, I've been trying to learn more playing online, but I haven't gotten to where I would want, want to be. And honestly, I haven't been putting, I gotta put more time into it. But um, this card, a lot. I saw some people saying that this was their chase card and you know, nice for them. If they didn't pull it, they can buy it at a lot, much more affordable price than 120. We'll see where this card ends up. It's down 37%. Had a lot of sales right here at $99. That was the most sales. So we'll see where it ends up. 70, yeah. I don't know. Some of these cards are kind of crashing, which is normal, right? This is what we normally see. Even if you go back to uh, Twilight Masquerade, right? Which I like to use. Okay, I'm sorry. It's the most recent example of when things changed, right? Uh, the Greninja went up. A lot of the cards did this, okay? The Greninja carried that set. So it is entirely possible that the Pikachu can just continue to carry the set if it continues to stay at a good price. Uh, surpassing the Greninja is nice. It gives everyone, a lot of people, anyways, I'll, I'll get to that at the end of the video. Uh, I got two more things to touch on real quick. So this is the regular ETB. Now normally, regular ETBs for like a booster box set, they're usually dirt cheap for a while. This one's continuing to climb. 23% growth in the past month alone. It's up to, and last sold is actually $54 for that 50, 44, 54. So this is a $54 booster box, or booster box, sorry, ETB. I mean, once again, it kind of makes sense. You can't afford the booster box, you go to an ETB, right? So it's it's more affordable. And yeah, so when things just sell out so quickly, it, it makes sense, but it's just, it's just wild to see. I think I haven't fully adjusted to the new market. Uh, I'll try and I'll try and address that at the end. How to beat the market? How to make sure you guys are getting boxes at good prices? Well, I'll talk about that at, after this next one. Booster bundles. So booster bundles. I like booster bundles actually. Uh, I've had really great luck with them in 151. I do like booster bundles. I like the sealed bundle displays, especially for 151. Very good luck for me out of those. Anyways, 48% growth in the past month. What were pre I'm going to go back? Pre-release prices were here at 30 above MSRP. They went down to 21 and they're just shooting up. Once again, when everything's sold out, when it's a frenzy, it does make sense. 18% up over pre-release prices, but 48% in the past month. And looks like they're going a little higher. Last two solds were $38. Like I think the uh, booster bundles for 151 are at like, I think they're closing in on like $60. I think they're at like 58-ish, somewhere around there. So yeah. Um, so in summary, Surging Sparks, be popping off, okay? How how do you, say you haven't gotten, you didn't get your surging, how, do you, how are you gonna beat this, okay? This is what you need to do. You need to uh, join a Discord, you can join my Discord if you want. There's, people are really good about uh, notifying you when stuff comes back in stock. The link is in the description if you want to join. Uh, when Pokemon Center restocks, okay? When it restocks, grab those booster boxes, Okay, grab those other products when they restock. Search on eBay, search other, search Rare Candy, search other reputable dealers, uh, Forge and Fire Gaming. Uh, I think there's there's quite a few. Um, search around, you'll find restocks. 
Okay, what you're looking at now is restocks because let's be real. Should this set at this point get a reprint? Yeah, yeah, of course. Look, this is wild. It needs a reprint. When's it gonna get a reprint? It doesn't get a reprint a few weeks after release, a few months after release. It's gonna need to be like six months at least, right? If we get it. it doesn't even mean we're gonna get it, okay? Demand is so high. Yeah, they have to print the new sets. You understand? They have to the print Prismatic. They probably already printed Prismatic, I feel like, or they're printing it. Have or print it. Anyways, they got to print Team Rocket. They got to print the next sets, right? So, you know, they'll get reprints in when they can. They will. We just don't know how big and how long they will be for. So you're going to need to buy at MSRP is probably your best bet currently. Now, if you're looking for a long-term hold, if you're looking to invest five to 10 years and you're trying to pick up booster boxes, MSRP still isn't bad. Obviously you want to be as low as a price as you can, but at this point, you're gonna have to get what you guys can get, okay? Uh, for new sets moving forward, pre-order, you're gonna have to pre-order. We've talked about this. I've changed my strategy. I'm pre-ordering everything all the time now. Until it changes, I will let you guys know when we don't have to do that anymore, but it might be a while. How The market is crazy. How long can it be crazy? It could be crazy for a while. It could be, it could be six months. It could be another year or two. The market is going to decide that, okay? We we don't know, but right now it's a frenzy. Um, tendies are being made, right? You guys can make it. There's easy money to be made. For my surging boxes, you know, I pre-ordered at 100 a box. Look at what they're at. They're doubled already almost. Um, they were at 170 before I even got them. So the quick flip thing is possible if that's something you guys are looking at. I don't personally do that. I don't have any, I'm not selling any sealed product right now. I think I have like a Lost Origin box on eBay for like 300. Obviously that's not where it's at. Uh, so I have like a box listed high, but that's it. So if you want a quick flip, you know, you guys can do that. Pre-order, flip, sell, it's easy money. That's what a lot of people are doing. A lot of people that aren't normally in the hobby, you know, got the Costco people who are going, fighting people off for Costco product. They're, you know, just flipping it. They're just reselling it instantly. So um, we're at, we're at COVID, COVID level ish times. Um, your, you know, your WalMarts, your local WalMarts, Targets, GameStops, um, Costco's, Sam's Clubs. Those are going to be places that you're going to want to be picking up these products at MSRP. It's the world we live in now. So if you want, and like I said, you don't have to join my Discord. Join another Discord, right? There, there'll be people in there. Excuse me, people in there that will alert you and have links to buy the product when they go back into stock, okay? That is what you have to do. You have to be, you have to work harder than other people. You have to be on your phone. You have to be checking these things if you want good deals, okay? Um, it's a dog eat dog world out there for Pokemon collecting and investing. That is the unfortunate reality of where we are at. But at the same time, it's scary, but it's kind of exciting at the same time because when you get those, when you get those boxes at 100, you know, you get your cases and, they've, and then now they're doubled. That feels good, right? So Scarlet and Violet Era is finally getting the attention it deserves, more attention possibly, uh, because the market is a frenzy, but that is your Surging Sparks update video. If you guys are 18 minutes in the video and you're not already subscribed and you didn't subscribe when I announced the giveaway, do yourself a favor, you obviously enjoyed the content. Subscribe, I do daily, daily collecting and investing videos. We touch touch on everything. I'll keep you guys up to date on where the market's at, what sets are going crazy. And as always, feel free to ask me any questions below. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.